Congressman Paul Brown of Georgia, he's always a dandy. See, he's one of these wacko conservatives who refuse to raise the debt ceiling no matter what. And Brown has made it clear that he doesn't care about the consequences. The CBO says, well, if we if we don't um, if we don't raise the debt limit, it's going to put uh, so many people out of work. I don't remember the numbers. I, mean, I think it's two hundred fifty thousand or something. Right. Although they'll be put out of out of work. Well, those are going to be government employees that are put out of work. Uh, there are a lot of government employees that need to go find a real job. Yeah, you don't know what the numbers are. So according to Paul Brown, teachers, firefighters, police officers, and postal workers. They don't have real jobs. And he's lowballing it by saying only 250,000 people would lose their jobs. A recent report from the centrist think tank Third Way estimates it would be 640,000 jobs would flat out disappear if Congress doesn't raise the debt limit. They did it 10 times under Bush. But Paul Brown has never been real big on the facts. He once said the Centers for Disease Control were going to force people to eat their vegetables. He said the clean energy bill would kill senior citizens. No kidding. And Brown compared President Obama's health care bill to the Civil War, which he calls, quote, the Great War of Yankee Aggression. Perhaps it's time for the voters of Georgia to kick Paul Brown out of his government job and see how he likes it, because for him to tell government employees to go find a real job undoubtedly is heartless.